Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. My name is Matt, and I will be the one asking the questions today. Uh, in this match, we continue with the first round in our tournament to determine a number one contender to face Scott Despins for the championship at the end of the month. Today's match also comes with very high expectations, as one competitor is a trivia master in their own right, and the other is my little sister. I'll let you decide which is which. Introducing first, with a record of zero wins and one defeat, Brittany Robbins. How are you, Brittany? I'm doing well. Right. Oh my god, thank you so much for coming today. You have dressed for the occasion for sure. Yes, I have. I'm hoping that uh, my costume will bring me a little good luck today and I can move up the ranks this round. Oh, and when I told people that you were coming back and uh, that you will be playing against your opponent, the audience for that grew. Everyone said, this is going to be a great match. We can't wait to see it. I also can't wait to see it. <laughs> so, introducing your opponent with a record of two wins and two defeats. He is the CEO of Mac Flash Entertainment, Francois Jacques. What's How are up? you, sir? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thank What's you so up? much. I'm excited to be here. What's up, Brittany? Hi, Francois. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. It's been, it feels like it's been so long since we played this game. Yeah. Oh, way too long. Way too long. I can't wait to do it. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, both of you were in the last Premier Division uh, tournament, and both of you didn't get very far. You were both eliminated in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. Francois yeah. by Jay Bedard and Brittany by uh, Jim Perry. So this is quite the matchup for sure. That's right. That's yeah. <clears throat> I uh, seem to have misplaced my whiteboard, but I did make sure to grab some canvases and paint and paintbrushes. Wow. So I'm <laughs> that... prepared. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. That is going to gonna make some amazing limited edition work right there. Oh, yeah. For sure. Especially so. if she wins. That's, That's going right. on eBay auction right away. Record and timing. Triple in value <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <clears throat> And Francois, you look extra prepared with, uh, you, you have a corner man. That's right. I decided to uh, bring a little good luck charm. So uh, big baby it is. Uh, big baby was already wearing a superhero outfit. So I thought ready for the job. And uh, that can's empty. Don't worry. I do not condone <laughs> feeding children beer. It just, it likes the noise it makes when it shakes it. So, so if everybody is ready. Yes. 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 Brittany, you're ready. Let's I'm ready. play. We'll kick things off with. Round number one, just like we usually do. Round number one is played with rules. And those rules, as I continue to stall, are this. <laughs> Round number one, the players will be asked 10 questions from different movie categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to, excuse me, to be revealed when time is up. One point is awarded for each correct answer. All right. So let's start round number one with 80s movies. Sounds good. Let's go. What 80s movie carried, excuse me, what 80s movie carried the tagline, something wonderful has happened, number five is alive? What 80s movie carried the tagline, something wonderful has happened? Number five is alive. Five, four, three, two, one. Francois. Short Circuit. Short Circuit is correct. Brittany? I have not seen short circuit you have seen short circuit i have not seen these things steve that gutenberg and ali she well, going I've a road trip the trailer. The yes that's all you needed i'm sure for a tagline mm -hmm. round one question number two in 90s movies what 1990 comedy marked the film acting debut of rap duo kid and play Mm 
what 1990 comedy marked the film acting debut of rap duo Kid and Play? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Brittany. <laughs> if only I had a little baby to consult. <laughs> no Blank clue. again. Oh my Francois. gosh. Would it be house party? House party is correct. Nice. Francois Not only takes... have I never seen house party. I've never really been to that kind of house party before. <laughs> never been to a house party. <laughs> that kind of house party before. Right, right. Francois like takes really an early one. lead with uh, two to nothing as we go to question number three in action and adventure. Which Mel Gibson movie tells the story of Scottish freedom fighter William Wallace? Which Mel Gibson movie tells the story of Scottish freedom fighter William Wallace? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois? It's Braveheart. It is Braveheart for a point. Brittany? I also have Braveheart. She moves up the board. The score is three to one. I'm on the board. I'm feeling <clears throat> the heat. Sweat's coming down. Can't see it, but I can feel it. We'll continue this fun with uh, question number four. Animated or family films? Who voices the conductor in the Polar Express? Who voices the conductor in the Polar Express? Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Brittany. That would be Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is correct. Francois. I also have Tom Hanks. And you get a point for that. The score is four to two. <clears throat> Our next question is in comedies. Which actor played God in Bruce Almighty? Which actor played God in Bruce Almighty? category was that again comedy five four three two one uh francois i have morgan freeman and you get a point Brittany. Yeah. morgan freeman the Correct voice of well. god the scores <laughs> the score is five to three <clears throat> uh our next question is in drama who plays sam Opposite Demi Moore in Ghost. Who plays Sam opposite Demi Moore in Ghost? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Brittany. <laughs> Patrick Swayze? Is correct. Francois. I also have Patrick Swayze. And you get a point for that. Thank you. Scores six to four. Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> so I gotta say it because it's my favorite line ever. Um, next question is in horror thriller. Who plays Sydney Prescott in the Scream franchise? Spelling. Who plays Sydney Prescott in the Scream franchise? Five, four, three, two, one. And we're starting with Francois. Nev Campbell is correct. Brittany? Oof. I also have Nev Campbell. And you both get a point. The score is seven to five. And we'll move on to question number eight musicals. <clears throat> What name does Seymour give his strange and unusual plant in Little Shop of Horrors? <laughs> what 
what name does Seymour give his strange and unusual plant in Little Shop of Horrors? Five, four, three, two, one. And we're starting with Brittany. No, I didn't have time to draw a picture of the plant. <laughs> Francois. I wrote herb. Herb. <laughs> herb. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That is incorrect. We were looking for Audrey 2. Oh, I'm glad you two. also didn't get it. So, yeah, it's mutual. That's a tough one. I've never seen that musical, Same. like, I mean, recently. <clears throat> Once. Question number nine is in romantic comedies. Who knocks up Katherine Heigl in Knocked Up? Who knocks up Katherine Heigl in Knocked Up? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois? Seth Rogen. Correct. Brittany? Canada's boyfriend, Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> You each get a point. The score is now eight to six. And we will round out the first round with the 10th question of that round in sci-fi fantasy. Yeah. Which 1997 movie carried the tagline protecting the earth from the scum of the universe? Shoot. Which 1997... Which 1997 movie carried the tagline, Protecting the Earth from the Scum of the Universe? Five, four, three, two, one. Brittany? Men in Black. Is correct. Francois? Also wrote Men in Black. You also are correct. You each get a point. It is nine to seven as we close the first round how is everybody Started feeling writing so down far? independence day on that last one because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i mean because right it's yeah. all the same thing scum <laughs> yeah villainy but it's Will yeah Smith. protecting america so oh, right. with that we'll go on to round number two round number two is played like this the players will be asked to select five categories eliminating them from round number three they will be asked questions from those categories, and they will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has increased. Two points are awarded for each correct answer. Uh, the score is 9 to 7 in favor of Francois. See, so he will get to have the advantage of picking the first category. 80s movies. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Does Vanna White walk across the screen? Yes. And select it. Brittany. There she is. Uh, musicals. Interesting. Romantic comedies. Brittany. Uh, animated. And Francois picks the final horror thriller. Horror thriller. Thank you. Good. I would have picked that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. We'll get rid of this. So let's begin round number two with question number one in 80s movies. <clears throat> 80s movies. In Big Trouble in Little China. What color eyes must Lo Pan's future bride have? Have to be specific. <laughs> yeah. In Big Trouble in Little China, what color eyes must Lo Pan's future bride have? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Brittany. Oh, I was just. Writing Kim Cattrall's eyes. Green. <laughs> green is correct for two points. <laughs> Francois. I wrote Jade Green. Green. Jade Green. Green is See, what we're looking that's for. That's where I was like, oh, if it has to be emerald or jade or I don't remember that. Yeah. No, primary school colors as far as <laughs> Perfect. this game is concerned. You both got two points. The score is now 11 to 9. 
as we go on to question number two in round number two musicals the song white christmas first appears in what 1942 musical The song White Christmas first appears in what 1942 musical? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois? I'm going to go ahead and just say White Christmas. Is incorrect. Brittany? Ah, that's what I said too. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and maybe nine and a half out of ten people would say that as well. It is from the movie Holiday Inn. Okay. It makes its first appearance in Holiday mm. Inn. It's also where that rap song comes from. Man. Hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. I think that was from that 1942 movie as well. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue uh, with round number two with question number three in romantic comedies. <clears throat> In the 1994 rom-com, It Could Happen to You, Nicolas Cage offers a waitress what in lieu of a tip? In the romantic comedy, in the 1994 rom-com, It Could Happen to You, Nicolas Cage offers a waitress what in, in lieu of a tip? Five... Four, three, two, one. Brittany. A share of his lotto ticket if he wins? That's correct. Francois. A huh. half of a lottery ticket. Correct. Both get two points. 13 to like, 11. Yeah. <clears throat> With that, we go on to question number four in round number two. Animated and family films. In Pocahontas, what is the name of Pocahontas's raccoon friend? Francois writing down quickly because yeah, like, he's how probably do you had know this that? question in a Disney trivia before. Yeah, and we have the uh, we have the stuffy. Oh, at home that my kids <laughs> and my kids love it, eh? So yeah. In Pocahontas, what is the name of the Poca if of Pocahontas' raccoon friend? <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. And we're starting with Francois. It is Miko. It is Miko for two oh, points. What Brittany. a cute name. It's cute, <laughs> eh? I know. But it's been twenty four <laughs> years since I've seen it. <laughs> the score is now fifteen to eleven. As Ugh. Francois extends his lead. And we will continue with round number two. Question number five in horror thriller. What horror franchise features a pagan deity named Bagul? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Horror franchise features a pagan deity named Bakul. That's B A G H U U L. Bakul. And it's a franchise? Yeah. A pagan franchise? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Brit. I don't have anything. I don't, yeah. <laughs> nothing no. on. Francois, also <laughs> nothing. It's pretty much equivalent to what Brittany wrote, but it's just a graphical representation of it. We're yeah. looking for sinister. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Been right. meaning to get to those. <laughs> Is Ethan Hawke in all of them? I don't know. That's a three-point question in my book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, with that, the score is still 15 to 11, and we get to continue to round number three. How is everybody feeling now? Worse. 
<laughs> yeah, now I'm getting nervous. It's going to be like a really hard catch up. Like he has to basically get all the questions wrong and I have to get them all right in order to win. Like if he gets one, I'm out. And I don't think that's impossible. No, it's... Because that will depend on the categories you pick. The players will be asked three questions of their choosing from the remaining five categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has, again, increased. Three points are awarded for each correct answer. The player with the highest score at the end of this round is the winner. Bring the categories back up. Francois is in the lead. He gets to pick first. Nineties movies. Brit. Comedy. Francois. Let's go action adventure. We're on the same wavelength. Right. Action adventure. Okay. For three big points, question number one is in 90s. Chris Rock plays a suburban kid who steals the identity of a hardened criminal in order to launch his rap career in what 1993 comedy? <laughs> Chris Rock plays a suburban kid who steals the identity of a hardened criminal in order to launch his rap career in what 1993 comedy? Sounds like something I gotta watch right after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Britt? I got nothing. I wrote down 1993. <laughs> Francois? Is it CB4? It is CB4. Yes. Three points yeah. for Francois. Oh, goodbye. And with that, we have a winner. Oh, come on. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah, I can only get to 17 from <laughs> here. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Fun moving up. <sighs> Francois Jacques advances in the tournament with a score of 18 to 11. Yes, Brittany has alluded that. Uh, even if she got the next two questions, that would still only be 17 points. And Francois has exceeded that. Francois, how do you feel? Man, this is amazing. I, I always come into these things thinking, okay, I'm a, I'm a one and done guy. You know, I'm thinking I'm dealing with pros here. These these people, I've, I've seen you on the show. I've seen you on uh, the Mac Flash 5. And I've seen you talk about movies. And everybody knows way more than I do about these things. But apparently... Stuff sticks when you do trivia for this long, and so I think uh, I got luck. I'll say I got lucky on a couple, but I did know some clutch ones that you know helped me out. That CB4 one uh, was probably the best time I could really pull something out of my self. Uh, yes, it, that was it, uh, useful. Yeah, it certainly looked like we hit a lot of your wheelhouse with this game. With there was a match. few right down. Miko, that Miko <laughs> one was also another great like oof. Thank you. We're gonna lock that <laughs> I think one you out. only threw out one question mark. Yes, that's, that's true. From you what I can remember, yeah. for yeah. sinister, you. you didn't get yeah. that. Britt, eleven points is not the lowest score we've seen in this tournament. I don't. I think mean, I'm it here. Is, is not, I no. did it. I thought I stood a chance up against Francois, but of course. <laughs> You ran into some good questions that you happen to know the answers to because you also do trivia. Right. And I hope you're still gonna. I still a lucky hope you're baby. Gonna, I hope you're gonna sign the paintings though, and still like, can I still have? <laughs> can I still have the paintings? Oh yeah, I'll send you a few question marks <laughs> for those first two questions. That would be the best. Then you, you might know, an question abstract marks. question marks would look good in the office of a trivia company for sure. I, I was thinking the same exact thing. Yes. Um, but to continue, oops, excuse me. To continue, Brittany's score of 11 points is extremely respectable. We will find her another match down the road. Down the road, she is not the only person to have uh, zero victories, and uh, we'll see if we can match her up with someone 
who has a matching record of sorts. And we'll see what we can do from there. <laughs> Until then, Britt, thank you very much. Francois, thank you. thank you very much. We will see you in the next round. And for everybody watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Mac Flash Entertainment Facebook page, the Movie Trivia Championship Facebook group, the Mac Flash Patreon. All of the uh, links to that are in the video description. And we will see everybody next time. Bye. Bye.